Bonnie learns to face her past, speak up for herself, and live her life on her terms in the final ending of Luckiest Girl Alive. The tumultuous journey through trauma taken by the main heroine in Luckiest Girl Alive is satisfactorily resolved by the book's conclusion. The main character in Luckiest Girl Alive, which is based on Jessica Knoll's first book, is New York-based journalist Ani, Mila Kunis of TED fame, whose life is being destroyed by the effects of her past tragedy. Luckiest Girl Alive deliberately obscures numerous details of Ani's past, while only revealing fragments of the tragic incident that shaped her current reality when the reader deciphers her story. While this creates enough intrigue and suspense to keep one hooked, it makes certain aspects of Ani's storyline a little complex. With that in mind, here is a detailed breakdown of Luckiest Girl Alive's ending and all the key moments that lead up to it. Traumatic flashbacks of Ani according to an explanation, Luckiest Girl Alive alternates between Ani's present and past timelines to demonstrate how she constantly repeating her trauma while attempting to squelch her memories in order to fully control her life. When an independent true crime documentary filmmaker invites her to describe a school massacre she survived as a teenager and explain why she was accused of being an accomplice in the shooting, her history finally comes up with her. When Ani gradually starts confronting her past, little bits and pieces of her backstory reveal that a couple of days before the school shooting, she was sexually assaulted by three boys at a party during her sophomore year. When she tried opening up about it to the school's authorities, she was silenced since one of the boys, Dean, who belonged to a powerful family. Ani also tried telling her mother about it, but to her dismay, her mother also turned a blind eye towards it and blamed her instead. Two lads, including Ani's buddy Arthur, played by Thomas Barbuska from the mix season one, plan a school shooting after becoming disillusioned with the unjust politics that divide students at their school. During the shooting, two of the three youths who had previously assaulted Ani are killed. As the icing on the cake for his scheme, Arthur shoots Dean in the leg and orders Ani to get her vengeance by carrying it out. Even though Ani despises Dean so much, she is powerless to kill him and stabs Arthur instead. Despite the fact that Ani essentially saves his life, Dean asserts a story in which Ani was allegedly a collaborator in the school shooting. By doing so, he avoids being accused of raping her and also gains everyone's sympathy for his lifelong leg injury. Owing to this traumatic experience, Mila Kunis's character changes her name from Tiffany to Ani to assume a new identity that is until her past comes back to haunt her. On a side note, the movie is partially based on the true story of Source Material's author, Jessica Knoll, via New York Times. The author initially penned down the book's story as a fictional tale without revealing the truth that inspired it. In 2016, she revealed that her novel's portrayal of was based on her own high school experience when she was a by three boys at a party. I want to make people feel like they can talk about it, like they don't have to be ashamed of it she quoted in an interview, highlighting why she opened up about the reality of the darker elements of her novel. She decides to expose all the lies Dean, played by Alex Barone from the cast of Hulu's Dopesick, has been peddling for years, though, when her life begins to spin out of control. Dean threatens to disavow her role in the school massacre unless she retracts her claim that he had raped her. Little does Dean realize that Ani has come prepared and has recorded their conversation. Finally standing up for herself, Ani uses the recording to prove that she is telling the truth about the school shooting and her traumatic experiences that led up to it. By doing so, she not only empowers herself, but also finds the right voice to empower others who are struggling tell their truths. Why Ani confronts Dean at last, Ani is afraid to speak the truth for fear of being judged and trampled. She further conceals the facts and keeps it to herself when she learns that her mother, Dina, played by Connie Britton from the cast of Promising Young Women, is not on her side and that her teacher, Andrew, was expelled solely for supporting her. She gradually trains herself to keep quiet about it, despite the fact that her trauma keeps coming back and reminding her of the past. She even avoids confronting Dean at her interview with the true crime director by fleeing. When Ani meets the high school teacher who had backed her, it is a turning point in her life that causes her to reconsider her choices. Ani brags to Andrew, Scoot McNary from the cast of Netflix's Blonde, that she got a job at the New York Times during their brief interaction, but she knows deep down that she might not actually accept the position until she makes some adjustments. Ani understands that she can only take back control of her life by facing her trauma rather than avoiding it as her history begins to catch up with her. This gives her the motivation to confront Dean and expose him. Why Ani splits from Luke Even if Ani wants to stay with Luke, she must break up with him, since he prevents her from moving forward. 
She has lived almost her whole life in the shadow of other people's stories and choices about what she ought to do. She decides to break her relationship with Luke and opts not to move to London with him when he and his family appear to have an issue with her talking about her tragic background and how it has affected her present. By doing so, she brings a full closure to a long upsetting chapter of her life and triggers a new one on her own terms. Ani's graduation from writing sexually appealing content for a male audience to penning down her own story in the New York Times serves as a tipping point in her rite of passage. It shows that she has come a long way from being the people pleaser that she used to be and now holds her own decisions above everyone else's. This is further cemented in the closing scene where a woman attacks Ani, played by that 90s show's Mila Kunis, by claiming that her story gives her nothing but 15 minutes of fame, but she proudly stands her ground instead of allowing her to silence her. Luckiest Girl Alive's ending establishes that after deciding not to keep her story a secret, Ani has finally paved the way for herself to heal and found a new purpose to write for those who feel silenced like her. As revealed by Luckiest Girl Alive's author Jessica Knoll, via you, the movie's ending is somewhat meta in the sense that even though it tells the story of a fictional character, it is not a far cry from her own real-life experiences. Just like Ani, Jessica Knoll also received empowering reactions from many women after she published her book and essay.